Hi everybody, welcome back to Fake It To Make It or Hi If You're New, I'm Katie. Um, I have my mini dashboard happy planner that I'm going to be planning in for the week. And as you can see, I have some little stickers over here. I actually fussy cut these. Um, these are stickers from Paola Shop, Let's Plan Together on Instagram. So definitely check her out. Um, she sells printable stickers. This is another sheet that I have. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. I can't wait to to um to plan with those but i don't know how to cut stickers on my cricut so i fussy cut all these ahead of time and i printed them the nice thing about printables is you can print them in whatever size you want so i did print these a little smaller as you can see like versus these which are a little bit bigger specifically for my mini and then i'm going to pull some stickers from all the essentials um this is a happy planner sticker book because I was looking for like some boxes and stuff I could use. Oh my gosh, those leaves. But this green matches that bathing suit perfectly. So I do definitely want some boxes and I like having a nice lawn box. And then there was even like with the leaves. Oh, that pink. Well, that pink kind of match too. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to pull in some of these. So let us get started i'm just going to kind of put that to the side i don't want to cover any of these okay i know i usually like a lawn box here but this is so much smaller so um let me find like a plain green is the other way of saying let me find a plain green box usually i will do a lawn box in my regular dashboard but i don't think that's going going to work so let's do this instead there we go how is everybody doing it is saturday night i spent my saturday oh oh excuse me i'm a little sleepy um doing stuff around the house um laundry cleaning and then finishing up my continuing education for my nurse practitioner license so I'm happy oh so happy to say I'm done I finished all my classes oh that is like a huge weight off my shoulders I've been working on that for about a month now and it's just been a lot you guys and with everything else like just everyday life like my job has been kind of crazy lately and busy and um honestly not not really how i anticipated spending my summer um it was kind of bumming me out a little bit so i'm sorry you guys have to watch me i need to just figure out how to do these things on the cricket but to be honest i have like so little free time I don't know when that'll happen one of these days because I do have that cricket and it would be perfect for things like this because then I could cut them okay what is next yeah so anyway not exactly how I maybe saw myself spending the summer but we're, we're at the tail end of that now so hopefully work will calm down a little bit and um i will oh it's gonna cover it covers it like that and then it still says mon for monday that's fine i think we're gonna put a little lemonade over here um, I think tomorrow it was, well, one, it was really hot here today. So, um, my husband and the kids, while I was taking these classes and doing stuff inside, we had to have a bunch of trees cut down because they're diseased. And we had one last summer come down in a storm. And then our neighbor, a lot of the pine trees around here, unfortunately, have or like kind of disease our neighbor had one come down so instead of waiting for these things to just like happen during a storm where it's not controlled we cut 
quite a few down, which was kind of sad. We have a ton more, but it needed to happen. Otherwise, it's going to, you know, it could damage something. We don't want that. But um, that way, too, it's making room so we can plant more trees. We've already planted two more, so then we're going to buy some more to obviously replace everything because we love the trees. Trees are important. We definitely like the privacy and just the look of it. And so that was something they did today, but it was so hot here. I know, like, everyone is sort of like in the midst of a heat wave so comparatively speaking like i don't think michigan is as bad as some other places but um yeah it's it was hot today um, i think my husband overdid it he wasn't feeling real real great afterward and i think it's because he was just like super overheated so um hopefully he will uh, take it easy tomorrow, but he was doing better. He like I made him drink a, you know, Gatorade water stuff like that, and then he was, he was doing better. So tomorrow he just needs to take it easy. I, I was joking with him, telling him like he forgets that he's getting older and needs to like slow down a little bit. So, which you know, he doesn't like to admit to himself. I mean, really, to any of us like to admit that we're getting older no not really so um this today this green now that might not quite be the right color green okay um i want to put this bathing suit so tomorrow um i think my daughter shelby and i are gonna do a little shopping. Her birthday was just a couple weeks ago. She has some birthday money. She has a couple gift cards. Um, we have some exchanges to do, perhaps a little um, back to school shopping. So where do I want this? I think I'm gonna put this down in the corner. Cute. Oh, I also had this washi tape. I forgot I wanted to use some of this. I just like the simplicity of it. Except now I cannot. But I did that. Oh, there it is. Yes, yeah, so I think we might do a little shopping. I think it's also supposed to rain tomorrow here. We'll see, though. I don't know. Every day they keep saying it's going to rain, and it doesn't. And we really could use the rain because it's just so dry like our grass is crispy my son was like it's literally crispy to walk across it's like I know I know we try to water it but you know when it's like 90 degrees every day it's just just what happens so so I did spend a little time in the pool today because that is my happy place in the summer listening to my audiobook I'm listening to um I actually I've heard about this book or these books rather from a few people most recently I think plan with Lakin talked about it um there's another youtuber I follow um she's not a planner girl um but she also talked about them I've just Keep, I kept hearing about it, so I was like, okay, let me give it a listen. So if you like, like, um, YA dystopian fantasy kind of books, you might like it, or you've maybe read it or heard of it, you'll have to let me know. It is, um, oh shoot, The Assassin's Blade, but that's not the name of the series. I think it's A Throne of Glass is the series, I believe. So you'll have to let me know if you have heard of that at all. Um, it's by Sarah Mass, I think, M-A-A-S. Um, so you'll have to let me know if you've heard of that, if you've read them, what do you think of them, um, of these books. But, sorry, I'm, like, looking for, I really want some more boxes. Okay, I grabbed this Colorful Shapes because I just want something that's going to fit in here a little bit better. So, let's see. You're going to put this here. There we go. I just needed some other colors. While the colors in the essentials matched, 
it's just some of them are a little bit bigger than what I wanted. So we pulled this out because I think we can make this work. Anyway. Um, okay, so anyway, I am I have finished the first in that series, which is the Assassin's Blade. And I'm on to the second one, and I'm really enjoying it. I've been listening to them on Audible. Um, if you guys have followed me, you know um, for my work, I travel a bit, rounding at different places, I think. I think I've talked about this. So I work in primary care. I work in an office, um, but we also round nursing homes and skilled nursing facilities. And so a lot of time during the week... I drive. I drive different places. Um, some days I drive an hour one way so I can be in the car for a little bit. So um, I like to listen to audiobooks. Sometimes I'll like Marco Polo or listen to a podcast. But I've really been into um, my books lately. My Audible. Oh, I did not peel the... I don't know why this wasn't sticking. I did not peel the, sorry, I think I might have just got my head right in that shot. I did not peel, there we go, the paper off the back of that. Make sure you guys are in focus. Okay, I like that. I love the color. Um, do I need another something right here. The only thing I don't like about this colorful shape book is like that's the only one of that color. I mean it's fine if you're doing a rainbow spread but it's hard if like I would like to keep the same shapes if that makes sense. And so now I feel like it's a little a little different. I don't want it to be all these different shapes. So wah wah. Um, let's see here. Although I don't necessarily need all those boxes. This is my on-the-go planner. Honestly, a lot of times I just write on the lines. I don't need a box for every little thing. I know some people like that. I, I just don't need that for me personally. Let me snip this off on here. Yeah, so anyway, I've been enjoying listening to Audible. It's funny because I bought myself a Kindle um, Prime Day. Or I think it was like right before Prime Day they had. Anyway, they had a really good sale. I've been wanting a Kindle, so I got myself a Kindle. And um, I haven't even used it yet because um, I had a couple paperbacks I was finishing. And then I also have these audiobooks purchased so and because I drive so much it honestly is just really nice to have a book to listen to in the car so I've really been enjoying those so you'll have to tell me down below if you've heard of those books um, if you've read them yourself I know she has another series is it the crescent something there's two big series that I hear that I've heard of and um, so if you've heard of her if you've read it let me know I'm very curious which which was your favorite if you've read her um, what else what else is next on the docket to read um, the other paperback I was reading and I talked about this and I still can't remember the name of the book it is that doesn't bode well, does it? That I can't even remember the name of the book. Um, oh my gosh, why can't I remember the name of it? It is the same author. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even think of the stinking movie. It's probably because it's so late. I shouldn't try to... Thinking and planning don't go hand in hand. Um, Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman, the, that witch movie. Practical, Practical Magic. It's the same author that wrote that. Anyway, 
it's it's not that it's a bad book. I don't know what my problem is. I just am having a hard time for some reason getting into it. And it's not Practical Magic, but I just know that she also wrote that book. But I just, I don't know. I think sometimes, and you'll have to let me know if you're this way. I'm this way with music too. I read and or listen to things based on kind of my mood. And so I don't know if it's just like that's not the kind of thing I want to read right now. Um, or if it's just because I'm enjoying this other series, this Audible book that I'm listening to. So sometimes at night even, like instead of sitting down with my book and reading like the physical book that I have, I end up... Um, setting the sleep timer on my phone and listening to the audiobook because it's so good. So that may also be it. Um, I do sometimes read a couple books at a time. Like I'll have an audiobook going and an actual book, but it just, yeah, not, um, I just can't get into it. And like I said, it may just be because I'm enjoying this other book. So which I do and enjoy a good dystopian kind of YA situation. So, okay, these are actually peeling apart pretty nice considering, although I say this now and I'm watching, I'm not going to be able to get this one, considering I fussy cut them and I was afraid it would be a pain. So, even if you don't have a Cricut, it really is not that bad. She has such cute stickers, honestly. And I got to meet, um, sorry, change of subject. Um, I got to meet Paola at um, Go Wild. And honestly, she's the sweetest. She's so sweet. I was so happy to get to meet her. I love her style. And her stickers are so cute. But it's also just nice to support somebody that, I don't know, just like a kind soul, right? Just... She's just really a sweetheart, so definitely go check out her Instagram and her stickers. Where do I want to put... I like how this is coming together, and I like the black. Am I overdoing it? No, you guys know how I like to do sometimes where I get a little sticker crazy. It may, it may be happening. I think, I think we'll put this here. And then I have one more little lemon, which... Oh, this paper did not come off here. I can already tell where it wasn't laying down. I think we're going to put this little lemon here because I don't have it. This was perfect for a mini. This one little sticker sheet. I just printed it off a little bit smaller, and I really I like it. Um, where do we want the lemon? Do we want everything on the bottom? Or do we need a little yellow up here? Because I got a little yellow, lots of yellow going on there. Um, no. I kind of like it on the bottom. So we're just going to do that. And then washi. Any more washi tape? I think I'm going to put this across the bottom. I don't know why. Just like this simple little design is really pleasing to me. We'll do that. And then maybe, oops, shoot. Um, maybe some across the top too. So you guys have to let me know, do you ever print your own stickers out? Or not? I typically don't, but these are really, gosh, these are so cute. I had fun making a little, something a little more colorful. And I can't wait to use those florals and the bees that I showed you guys. And I think this was all part of her June release. And I believe her stickers are $5 a sheet, if I'm not mistaken. I think that turned out super cute and summery, and I love it. So check her out. She is Let's Plan Together on Instagram. So definitely check out her shop. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, 
consider giving this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave a comment down below. It it definitely helps me. Helps to YouTube to push push stuff out there. Um, just know I appreciate you guys that you sit with me, plan with me. Um, I hope you have a great week and you're planning your best life. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.